Hey guys, missed you. I know you probably missed me, wondering where the hell I've been at, why I've been posting all these late ass videos. <laughs> um, so I've been out sick. Um, been out sick from work, been sick from YouTube, not sick of y'all, but just and sick in general and just don't have the energy to do anything. Um, so um the last few days I've been getting better, so Hopefully if I if I cough, you know what I'm saying? Like excuse me, I'm trying not to cough during when I'm trying to talk to you guys. But um yeah, so your girl was out sick for a little bit and um feeling a little better, you know. I can't say a little bit, I'm feeling a lot better considering um <clears throat> just had very mild symptoms, really was just like my throat. Um, luckily because I'm an asthmatic, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, I'm sure I've had COVID in the past and wasn't able to diagnose it, especially in the beginning of all of this. Um, and I probably have had it in between time as well. Um, but this is the first time I actually had a test that said detected. So this was, uh, a new little process for me. So, um, and, to, and if you want to be honest, I did not have the, um, I guess the classic signs of being, positive all I had was like a really sore throat uh cough nasal drainage it just really felt like a common cold um I am fully vaccinated though so I don't know if that contributed to it which it probably did um having more mild symptoms so I'm um, grateful for that um I didn't want to get the booster but I think I am gonna get the booster um a few months from now knowing that I had gotten positive or whatever like that. Um, so without ado, let's let go of that bull shit and let's get into the shit we're going to be doing today. So if you don't know me, I am Bianca Estelle. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is not your first time here. Welcome back, boo. Make sure that you subscribe, 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 because a lot of you guys come back and watch my videos, but you're not subscribed to my channel, boo. Come on, join our little family, join the little club. We do try and keep, well, at least I try and keep things a little light and airy around here. I don't try and be too freaking serious with you guys with this stuff. So um, this is just my channel where I just pretty much just vlogging my life when it comes to beauty. I'm not a beauty professional. Um, this is just my life, how I like my beauty, how the things that I buy and all that. So if you like to see someone who's just kind of like here for fun, that's me. I'm not here to be serious about any of this stuff. This is just my channel. I'm having fun with this. You guys get to see what I do and that's it. Oh yeah. Happy New Year to you. I know I haven't seen y'all this year. This is the first video for 2022. Feels weird saying that. Um, so, but yet again, like I said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to turn your notification bell on. Also, go and follow me over on Instagram at b.estelle underscore 216, guys. So, <clears throat> we're going to be doing some, I want to say unboxing. I guess this is like a, a haul video, collective haul stuff I've been buying. Um, I ain't been out, been able to go out to the store, so I've been you know, having everything delivered to the house. So, um, just some things. Ulta. Um, Natasha Denona, Sephora, um, a couple things from Meyer, you know, just a little here and there, now yeah, here and there. So let's go ahead and dive right into this video, guys. Okay, guys, so I know it's always kind of weird for me after I haven't been on here for a while. Sometimes I feel like I don't know how to talk to you guys or, you know, it's like I got to start back all over. But um, so we're diving right into my Ulta box. Um, I do have some things that I just randomly threw in here. So the number one thing I bought was some freaking Simply. Uh, these are cleansing wipes. So they're 20, uh, 25 wipes to a pack. And they used to sell these at Ulta and I fell in love with them and then of course you know you fall in love with some you find some and then they don't sell the shit no more so I had to go to Myers and start buying these I think I spent like $8.99 on these and I really like them because they're just very gentle on my skin I have sensitive skin um 
So, bought some of these bad boys. And, uh... I really didn't think I was gonna be needing any of these, but then the other day I was like going through my vanity cause like I try and keep my vanity clean like once a month and stuff like that. And I look down into my drawer where I keep all my freaking, uh, you know, I call them like my um, paper products and stuff. And I, I had like, I know I had like 12 packs of wipes in this drawer. And then I all of a sudden looked and I was like, I only have two packs of wipes? Facial wipes in here? Oh no, we not going out. We not starting a new year like this. We not starting a new year like this. So I got some wipes, did that. So went on to um, Ulta, was just browsing and found out that NYX dropped a new little collection. The Ultimate Queen, baby. Do I have that upside down? Yes, I do. So this is the Ultimate Queen. Um, I have the Ultimate Utopia palette, and I love it. And, uh, hold on, someone's calling me, interrupting everything. Um, had the Utopia palette, and I do love that. This is a $35 palette right here. Um, I am gonna open this up. I have not opened it to really get a good look at her. So... We're gonna do that together as soon as I can find some scissors because they make the packaging so ridiculously hard to get into. But um, what did you guys do for the new year? How'd your new year go? How was Christmas? How was the holiday? How's the family? Did everybody get what they wanted or, you know, at least tried to get what they wanted? Um, <clears throat> I don't know. This year for Christmas, I, at the beginning of the holiday, I was very much like, oh, I'm going to do all this stuff. Cause usually I, it's been a long time since I've decorated my house. I feel like every year something just kind of like, just gets to me and I'm just like, oh, I don't feel like it. I'm not in the Christmas spirit. So this year I was like, oh, I'm gonna get in the Christmas spirit. I'm gonna go decorate the whole house and all this and blah, 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 blah. And um, yeah, that did not happen. <laughs> I literally was like thinking about it every weekend. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the storage unit. I'm gonna get all my Christmas stuff out. I'm gonna put the tree up and all this and yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna decorate for YouTube and all this type of stuff. And then I was like, life just got a little hectic there for a minute. And I just was like, no, not doing it. Um, <clears throat> not to say that I didn't have a good Christmas or anything. Um, I did have a good Christmas. I did get some nice gifts um, from family and from my fiance and stuff like that. So it was a good Christmas, I would have to say. Um, I worked every holiday this year. Um, I won't be doing that this year. Um, I think I told you guys that I went on to be a travel nurse. Um, I let go of my permanent job and took a travel nurse position here in the local uh, Detroit area. So it's been real. Um, working for a whole different new health system um, really has opened my eyes to things. Um, one might be that I was a little spoiled and that <clears throat> Every hospital is not treated equally, which I learned at the beginning of COVID when you hear about other um, nurses in the area complaining about, you know, not having gear, not having masks, not having gowns, not having the proper PPE to take care of COVID patients and all that type of stuff. But now it's kind of more like, okay, we're past that fact now. Now, now what's the excuse? What's the issue with uh, care and stuff like that? Um, but that's what I'm doing now. I'm actually really loving it. I'm, I encourage all nurses to experience it. I definitely was one of those people who was scared. I think it has to do with an experience thing. Uh, I have been a nurse, it'll be going on, it'll be eight years this fall. So, um, and, and I feel like the biggest thing is people feel like, oh, don't let it um, deter you if you don't have that much experience definitely start low and work your way up. But anyways, guys, that was just a little jag so I can get into this. <laughs> so we have the <clears throat> Utopia 
Queen palette. And this is just, I mean, it's an all over, just a neutral palette. I mean, I don't care what complexion you are. If you're light, you're fair, if you're medium tan, medium dark, melanated goddess, I don't care. This is a palette for everybody. Um, there are tones, deep tones in here, light enough shade tones. There's glitters and shimmers and mattes in here. Um, it, I just like these. I've <clears throat> been recently becoming a fan, ever since I got the Utopia palette, a fan of NYX lately. Um, also, they had the Ultimate Queen um, Butter Gloss Trio. The colors that are in here are Praline number 16, uh, butterscotch, which is 46, and cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll, I already own. I think I also have praline as well. Um, but if you guys have never tried the butter glosses, I think that these are one of the best drugstore glosses um, that are on the market. I'm just trying to get in here to kind of give you guys a price because I'm not sure how much the butter glosses are, but I know they're not that freaking much. Um, so I, I just like them. I feel like they sit on the lips well. They look well. They look good. They have an array of freaking colors. So, and it's, it's very inclusive. Like they have very dark colors. Like there are darker brown shades than this if you're darker complected than me. I know that cinnamon roll is a um, dark black girl's number one like item like for me it it just it's a very nice like a uh, nude on me darker color because it is a darker chocolate kind of a color um but dark girl dark skinny girls that's all i ever hear on youtube cinnamon roll cinnamon roll or on facebook cinnamon roll cinnamon roll <laughs> you gotta get cinnamon roll and i'm like okay so when i finally got a chance to find it you guys I I loved it. <clears throat> so they're individually five dollars, but think this whole pack I think was like eight ninety nine or so. Uh, let me not lie to you guys. I think the pack was about I want to say like eight ninety nine, something like that. The next ultimate queen. There we go. Let's see if it'll show me the glosses. Will it show me the glosses? So yeah, the palette was $35. I think I got a couple dollars off of that because I know they had like a $5 coupon. Excuse me, I'm about to cough. <clears throat> but dang, they don't really want to show me um, the price of this. Let me go to my order, because they making this hard on my sister. It was 12 bucks. So it was 12 bucks, but I paid eleven twenty-five for it. Um, but I'm starting to really like um, I think it was was it butterscotch I put on? No, it was pray I think it was the praline one. But they smell like vanilla. And like I said, guys, these look really nice. Like, look at this. This is a nice color. Like, it's just a hue of, like, a rosy brown for me. And they're lightweight. They're not sticky. They smell good. And they're cheap. They're $5. $5. And they have an array of colors, you guys. Even if you are um, lighter complected, um... They have an array of different, like, light pinks to nudes that are very beautiful as well. I'm telling you, very in an inclusive um, brand. Like, they think about everybody. They don't think about just one skin tone. They're thinking about everybody. Definitely check out NYX. NYX is starting to become one of my favorite drugstore brands, okay? So, another thing that I got from NYX, now that we're talking about it, NYX dropped some concealers that I had been seeing all over um, TikTok and stuff like that. So I said I wasn't gonna make me a TikTok. And, um, but I have, 
I only have two videos up, so don't get too excited. There's only two videos up, but I am excited because Ofer Cosmetics started following me. So I was like, okay, I might have to keep doing this. Um, so yeah, if you want to find me over on TikTok, I think I think my name is the same, Bianca style. Same thing. Excuse me. Same thing. Um, but anyways, back to the concealers. So these are the NYX Professional Bear With Me Concealer Serums right here. So they're basically uh, supposed to be super hydrating, you guys. Um, what else can I tell you about this stuff? I'm trying to get some information. I'm just kind of winging it today. Just because I just miss being on here. So what's the first thing we can do is talk about some makeup. So... I'm just getting on here and looking at all the lovely stuff that I was going to buy that I didn't buy. Now, I was I wanted sand, but I got the colors tan and tan is number 6 and then I also got medium which is number 7. Um, let's see what they claim to say. And it says Say hello to 24-hour hydration with NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Concealer, Dark Circles, Erased. Acne, covered. Redness and irritation, girl, bye. Um, and this has the benefits. It says medium coverage concealer and a skincare serum for face and body. Okay, I didn't know you could use this on your body. So it says say, say goodbye to skin stress and hello to covered and hydrated skin. Available in 13 ultra hydrating shades. Um, for medium coverage, non-cakey natural finish, made for the under eyes, face, body to cover dark dark circles, redness, acne, dry patches, infused with a uh, skin loving ingredient, skin loving ingredients, um, uh, tremella mushroom, Sika green tea for up to 24 hours of hydration. It is vegan, formula cruelty free. Uh, it's supposed to be easy, mess-free application and get undetectable coverage, baby. Okay. So, very promising. Lots of people saying, like, if you have difficult um, time, like, um, <clears throat> like, doing your under eyes, like me, I have a hard time finding concealers and powders for me. I don't know what it is about my under eyes. I don't know if it's just... I think I might be super dry because I'm oily combination skin, right? But my under eyes, I think, tend to be more dry. And I think I've been using more creamier, dry, more matte feeling concealers. And then when I put powder down to, you know, set that, I think it just it just looks so horrible. So I even tried like the e.l.f. Calmo concealer did not work for me. So I'm hoping that these ones kind of um, work better for me. I'm just going to give you a little swatch and see. So you can see like they say medium coverage, honey, but I think these suckers are damn near um, <clears throat> full coverage. And these are $11, you guys. So these are the two colors. Look at, look, look how thick that is. It's very hydrating. I'm not going to say it's not. I've tried this on my face. It is super hydrating. Super hydrating. They're saying medium coverage. I almost want to say it's almost full coverage. See, I don't even need sand. Sand is a little darker. Um, this is tan and this one down here is medium. And I almost want to go for number five, which would be the shade underneath it. Um, and I should have, uh, but I, you know, me being me, you can't test anything and they don't have, some places don't have testers out still. Um, the place where I went, all the testers weren't, weren't there. So, um, it, for that particular product, I guess. Um, so yeah, what else did I get in this freaking box, you guys? So, I guess if you bought some stuff from NYX, you got some free samples from NYX. So, they sent me over a few things. Um, I think, you know, and just talking about the new year and thinking about my channel, you guys. 
I think for my channel, I think my biggest goal this year is to get my thousand subscribers, um, you know, get up there in YouTube. I think after I get my thousand subscribers, I think I, I think I'm fine with that. Um, if my channel, uh, continues to get bigger, I mean, it continues to get bigger. It just means I have more friends to love and I have more friends to love me. I mean, that's just how I kind of look at it. Um, <laughs> just saying. So they sent me over the NYX Pore Filler Primer Base. I think I actually have this. I just don't think I've used it yet. So I have that. Um, what else did they send me? The NYX Dewy Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. That's cute. And then they sent me the Marshmallow Primer. I've definitely seen that marketed a lot. So those were a couple of free samples that I got. What else did we get? Oh, I got some Tweezerman tools. Um, only because I love Tweezerman. Um, I, uh, those are like my number one go-to if I'm gonna get like tweezers. I, I've stopped tweezing my eyebrows. Um, this, these are my eyebrows fully grown in. I have not um, done anything to them her my eyebrow tech that I go see like I haven't even seen her since I want to say since the summer of 2021 I haven't done anything to my eyebrows since she's done them and she's like don't break your eyebrows because you know I got my little bald spot right here that's finally growing in finally so I don't want to mess that up so, but anyways, Tweezerman is one of my favorite beauty tools. They can run to be a little expensive, um, but it's it's worth the money. Cause like I've, you know, tried to be hard headed and be like, oh, I'm gonna buy something less expensive and save some money. But in the long run, I didn't end up saving any money because I ended up going back to Tweezerman anyways, because the product lasts longer. Um, <clears throat> but this little kit here, it comes with a nail filer, a, um, cuticle, like one that you use to like push back your cuticle, um, a nail clipper and actually like a cuticle, um, cutter thingy. Here, I'll show you this one to get down there in that cuticle area. So yeah, I like this. I wanted this for my purse. It was $23. She is a little expensive. Um, did I catch this one on sale? Is that why I got it? I think that's why I got it. Did I did I catch it on sale? Let me go back and see. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, if my voice starts going in and out, you guys, I just apologize. It's all part of being sick and everything. So I caught it at $21.50. A couple of dollars off. Uh, with that $5 coupon. So, got this to go in my purse. And it comes with a little holder. So, you know, I like my minis and stuff, y'all. So, there we go. What else did I get? Um, a few e.l.f. products. So, e.l.f. has been dropping products left and right. Um, one of the products that I was not able to get was the new brow gel that they have. It's $6. It's a clear brow gel. Everybody's been raving about it. I have not been able to get to the uh, store to get it. Every time I think a store has it, they're like, um, no, we don't have it. So with that being said, and then if I ha were to get it, I have to go like all the way to like freaking Southfield to freaking get it. So that's like on the other side of Wayne County, okay? Let's go on into like Oakland County towards that way. Not that it's a problem for me to drive. I just don't want to drive. <laughs> and I can't right now. I don't, I'm definitely like not one of those people who's like, oh yeah, I'm sick and I'm just gonna go out and just spread my germs. No. Excuse me, you guys. <clears throat> but I want to um, be mindful of other people's safety as well. Um, so I've just been staying home and shopping online which is fine so what i did get was the um and I pulled it out the box where i even showed you was the eye putty cream um uh which is basically a, a um i can't even talk now 
it's a eye primer for your eyeshadow. So I'm gonna be real with you guys. This looks super dry. It looks super dry in here. Like, and it feels super dry. I never tried their um eye primers before. I think I've seen a couple of people use them on YouTube before, but I don't know how she's going to do. She feels promising, um, but you know whose eye primer that I do really like in a little jar like this? I've had it forever. I'm going to see if I can grab it right quick. It's so old, but I just refuse to let it go because I have a feeling I'm never going to get this product ever again. When I first started getting into eyeshadow and I needed an eyeshadow base because I didn't know what the hell they were talking about, I was just like, I need an eyeshadow primer. So I was really into um, Lancome because Lancome was the only um, foundation I could get that actually had a true match for me at that time. This was many years ago. Um, this is going on almost five years ago, you guys. And I went there and they had this base. And it's the same kind of base. And at the time, you guys, I don't think anybody had a base like this. This concealer type of base. Um, nobody was doing that at that time. People were still using like Urban Decay was starting like coming out with their eyeshadow bases. And those were the popular bases at that time. I want to say maybe that's six or seven years ago. This is probably six or seven years old, but it still works. It still has a good consistency. It's not um, losing its oils because sometimes you see makeup that's breaking up. It starts losing the oils and it starts breaking apart. It has not done that yet. So I've been keeping it. <laughs> I keep it and I do use it ever so often um, when I feel like an eyeshadow is giving me an issue with a different type of eyeshadow base. So I'm hoping that it gives me that same motherly love as this is. And I know this one is like expensive too. I think this one is like 27, maybe $28. They do, and, it, and what I loved about it, it came in a lot of different shades like this one. This one I think comes in like about five or six different shades. So did this one. Now they only have the... Um, basic base which is kind of like a beige type of color and this one it actually matches my skin tone which i like it's number five so yeah so i keep that one so i'm hoping that this one gives me that same motherly love as that old school one that i used to have um <clears throat> i bought this at the store i think they're only like five dollars let's see i hate giving you guys not having prices for you but um, I just missed you guys. And I just wanted to get on here and be like, hey, I miss talking makeup with you guys. And um, yeah, so what is this? The Putty Eye Primer. Uh, uh, uh. I'm sure it's, it's e.l.f. So I'm sure it's no more than a couple bucks, probably five bucks. Yeah, five bucks. And they come, there's a lot more and more color. It only has two colors on Ulta, but it comes in more colors than that. Um, got this new sponge from e.l.f. Because um, I've been really liking e.l.f. sponges. Because I really like this one. It's super dirty, but this is an e.l.f. sponge. I just love the angle of this. I don't know why. I just feel like it just hugs my fingers the right way. I need to use those freaking... Um, fingernail clippers while I bought them um but anyways spazzing out so this is supposed to be a angled silicone face sponge so you have the regular sponge at top <coughs> excuse me you guys and I would probably use that more for under my eyes around my nose probably with concealer but the bottom of this is silicone so I guess it does not absorb your foundation. Now I've had other silicone sponges in the past and um, they are not all created equally and they've been garbage. So I'm hoping this one 
proves to be good. Um, how much was she? She was. Sure, she was cheap. She's else. She's regularly six dollars, and I paid five sixty nine for her. So we got some good things in here. So I mean, I I, I really just be starting to become more. I don't want to say more aware of of um drugstore, but I want to be more consciously aware of them and starting to go towards more affordable makeup um because at this point in my collection um i have a lot i have a lot that i can use and i don't want to be adding a whole bunch of unnecessary stuff that i'm not going to use does that make sense that makes sense right so another thing that i got from elf because i couldn't get the freaking i um the eyebrow gel that's supposed to be like the Anastasia brow freeze. Um, I went ahead and got the little spatula slash spoolie applicator that it's supposed to go with. Um, and I think it was about $6 as well. It was $4 and I paid $3.75. Um, so yeah, I got that. And But I said I can't even get the gosh dang eyebrow gel. So this is what it looks like. It's actually really nice. It's not, it doesn't feel, it doesn't look cheap and it doesn't feel cheap either. It's actually really, it's better. Ooh, it looks better in, in my hand than it did on the thing. And this is a really soft spoolies. I don't like hard spoolies. Like if you have the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz, that's a very hard spoolie on there. And I don't like that. But this one is very soft very soft so i like that um what else did i get from ulsa oh yeah so your girl um andrea Matialo. i don't get me don't get me wrong i'm gonna see if i can put her channel up here for you but i love her i think she is a very sweet person on youtube uh, i've been following her a lot ever since i got on youtube and was exploring makeup um she does have a lot of good suggestions on makeup um and i love her approach she's very professional when she speaks about makeup and i give it to you it takes a lot to be sitting out here and, and have a more professional view and i don't think she's a makeup artist but i think she's just someone who just loves makeup and gives her opinions kind of like what i'm doing but i tend to want to be a little more myself i don't want to be commercialized when i talk to you guys um so this is the urban decay cosmetics and she always raves about liking this um it's the urban decay brow blade let me get that out first um the price of this is 26 dollars. It is a little expensive um um people compare this and i think i want to do a comparison video with this compared to the Anastasia Beverly Hills. So it has a ink stain on one side. <clears throat> so you can get those little brow hair strokes. And then it has the waterproof pencil on the other. So you get like a crayon on one side. So you get that like a regular pencil, right? And then you get the ink stain over here which is like a felt tip pen you guys and you get those little strokes those little hair strokes right there like that right so she loves this now i have and i've rearranged my vanity so that i can sit at my vanity to do my makeup now um <clears throat> and then my desk is kind of set up for me to do my videos with you guys so a lot of my stuff that I be looking for now, I'll be back there. And I'm looking for my um, Anastasia brow pencil. So the only thing with that is that this, this doesn't have a, it doesn't have a spoolie. And um, the difference between this and the Anastasia is that it comes in, you have two pencils instead of one. So you have a one whole ink stand and one whole pencil with a spoolie. So that's the only difference with um, comparing those two. And I think I want to do a comparison 
on uh, how I would do my brows with that. So if that interests you guys, let me know. So we're going to dive into um, what I got from Sephora. Um, so like, you know, and I, I just wanted this to be kind of more like a, a uh, free talk type of video. You let me know how you guys feel about that. I'm starting to think I want to do live just to talk to you guys. Um, see how you feel. See what you guys have been discovering out there. Let me know like what, what kind of products you guys have been discovering and really liked. Um, let me know how you feel about that. I thought about doing a live with showing you my vanity slash filming area. It's not a room. It's an area. <laughs> um, so let me know if you guys want to do that because I do think that I want to update my vanity sometime this year. I'm hoping to move by the end of this year. So I'm trying to hold off on doing a whole remodeling of everything in here. I want to move and get like my own beauty room. But um, before I do that, I would like to show you what I have now, you know? Um, I've been on here for a year now, so I'd like to do that. So, you know, let me know your guys' thoughts. If you guys have suggestions out there of things that you want to see, definitely let me know. Or update videos on products that you know that I do use and let me know. But we're going to dive into the Sephora part of this video. Okay, guys. So, the Sephora box that I have is a combination of, <laughs> I know this is a little far back, um, Black Friday, a little Christmas shopping, and some recent Christmas shopping. Um, a lot of the stuff that I bought was on clearance or on sale or 50% off. So I'm going to start with the very first thing that was 50% off that I took a um, gander at. And that was the Naked, the Naked 3. This is, this is Urban Decay's uh, Naked 3. This is more of their <clears throat> rose hued neutrals. Um, she was $24.50. She was half off. I don't have this one. Um, I still think that don't, I, when it comes to makeup, you guys, don't let these channels tell you that you shouldn't be getting makeup that you don't own that is older. Um, this is probably maybe seven, eight years in the making that this came out. I wish they put the date on when they, when these release, that would be nice. But, <coughs> excuse me. I wanted to try this because I think these colors are very relevant to the scene right now. Um, Everybody's still into these neutrals. I think everybody's into neutrals. If you look at it, <clears throat> it almost reminds you of the new Charlotte Tilbury palette that had just recently came out. Um, these, you know, I think everybody has a palette like this. Like the very first palette that I ever bought was from uh, Maybelline and it was their um, nudes like this, their nude palette. And I think I still have it actually probably need to declutter it uh, matter of fact so yeah I bought this one because I think I only have naked heat and then I have um smoky the smoky one and I think I have and I bought the first one because it was being discontinued so I bought the first one and I still have it um <clears throat> so adding this to my collection that's something I've always wanted um but I feel like sometimes when you watch these YouTube channels you always think you have to get the new new thing the new new thing and you don't always have to get the new new thing because sometimes the new new thing is a just a replica of something that's previously been done so I'm gonna try that out and see how it is I've actually been thinking about doing like a um uh what is it called a um blast from the past Friday on the uh, eyeshadows is trying older eyeshadow palettes and seeing if they still have the flair that they used to have when they first dropped. 
I don't know. I just been thinking about different things that I've wanted been trying. But um, you know, it is what it is. Um, something else I got. I actually got this from BoxyCharm. Um, because it was part of the um the charm room where you can use your points to get products. And every time I try, every time they send me one of these freaking concealers that they have and this is the born this way super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer so um they always send me like the wrong colors so this is in the color golden and i think this is more of the color that i can use yeah more of a color i can use um some of, i think two of the other colors that i have are like way way to um light this i could actually use as a concealer to cover up some of my dark spots or even i could use that as a freaking oh yeah that that dries down really nice i could almost even use that as a um foundation so let's just see i got some stuff going on all over the place but I just wanna that coverage baby is undeniable. I need to cut that freaking fingernail. I don't know why I have it. I'm just been sitting here looking at it. Oh yeah. Like I could definitely use this as a spot concealer before I put on makeup. <laughs> and that would be beautiful. So I got that for basically free from points. Um, but like I said, this box is a combination of stuff that I've been buying stuff and just <laughs> sitting here like, I'm gonna do a haul video with them and we'll see what else I got. So what else did I get? I got the Too Faced Lip Injection Extremes. So these are travel size. And these are, I think I have the original one. You guys seen my original one because I did a video on them before. Um, they were on sale. I'm not sure how much. I think they were on clearance. Um, I have this extreme one, the instant one, this clear one. So I'm going to give this one away to you guys. But these other two I don't have. And it is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme this one is in Bubblegum Yum. This really like pink see-through one. It's like a lighter pink. And then Fruit Punch, which is like a darker hot pink. And then I forget what the clear one is called. I think it's just the regular one. So I'm gonna drop this one. I'm actually gonna throw it in the basket over here that I have all your guys' stuff in. But I know I didn't pay full price for this. I know she was on clearance. So they give you all the little instructions in here. Um, I am thinking about doing a new um, lip plumper video here pretty soon. Let me know how you feel about that. Um, comparing Too Faced, Fenty, um, Tarte, and um, Physicians formula let me know how you feel about that um so yeah i got these ones on here because you know these ones are hot as shit um these will burn your fucking lips off so if you want something that's gonna be like bitch got you out there these will Ooh, yeah they still got that smell of that original one too um these will do that for you they gonna do it for you uh what else did i get in here so we have some Ooh slip so i got some more slip hair scrunchies because i am uh, your girl's a fan your girl is a fan of the slip hair scrunchies they could be expensive as shit expensive 50 dollars for a pack expensive these ones here i think were 20 dollars, and they're like orangish kind of um orange and black i think they are so, and I've actually even bought a pack of slip 
hair scrunchies that were $50. Found them at Marshall's for 16 bucks, y'all. I've got that. You know I did. But this is just a two pack of the slip. I'm actually, oh no, it's three. Three hair ties in here. And I love them. These are the, I think these are the mini ones. Because they have like mini ones and then there's like some bigger ones. Of, of this type, I should say. And uh, so I got these. Because I'm in love with them. I love how they don't tear my hair apart like a regular scrunchie would. Which is the whole purpose of getting them. Um, I got some stuff from um, Natasha Denona from her actual website. So, got her new palette, the Mini Biba that just dropped. I got that palette, you guys. And um, I actually pre-ordered it before it was even available on Sephora. I don't even know if it... It's probably on Sephora now, but I bought it before it was even available to buy on Sephora. So you could pre-order this mini Biba palette. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. So um, I'm a big fan of these little mini palettes because they're only like $25, you guys. Um, I think I'm going to get the one for Valentine's Day as well that they have coming out. Um, I didn't get the face palette cause I'm just not into people's really face palettes like that. So I got that and you know, I had to do something for free shipping because you know, you can't, it would have been more money to buy two items. So I spent $8 on a puff. <laughs> on the Natasha and on a puff for your face. Um, just so I can get the free shipping. So I also got her, um, the Natasha Denona, the little glam palette that came out for the holiday time. Um, this is very cute. It only has three pans in here. So I am getting to look at this. A lot of these products firsthand with you guys, which I like to do. So then you can see how I feel about it because sometimes I get things that really suck or I think I'm gonna get something and it ain't about nothing so that's what that looks like I don't know how that's gonna transfer on my eyes how it's going to look because I'm gonna tell you right now I have a caramel single shadow from detached Denona that I got as like a free sample from Sephora and it looks very light. And I was like, this brown is not going to show up on my skin. And baby, she shows up. She shows up. She has some very good pigmented um, eyeshadows. So this little one is was a limited edition. This is the only palette that she has like this. Um, so I got that little one. Um, I think that was all I got from Natasha and Denona. Uh, most of all the rest of this stuff I'm going to show you actually came from Sephora. So just a sample size of that J-Lo, that J-Glow multitasking serum. Supposed to tighten, brighten, and hydrate. Did y'all buy any of her stuff? Um, <clears throat> I'm iffy about celebrity makeup brands. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm just saying, just saying. I, I'm a little iffy about it. So... I got my Jumbo Ola Hendrickson. Yeah, I think I buy this every time. This is for sale, y'all. Y'all have seen me buy this a million freaking times. This is the Glow uh, 2 H. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't even speak. This is the Glow 2 OH Dark Spot Toner. Um, always will be a staple in my skincare routine. This is only supposed to be used at nighttime, you guys. Okay, just to let you know. Blue, nighttime. Um, I got it on, it was on clearance. Um, this is actually the jumbo, and I think it's like 30 something dollars. It was like $21, and it sold out really fast, too. I should have got two. Um, what else did I get? <gasps> I finally got the um, Shirosa 39 from Sol J. Gennaro. So, is it Sol de Janeiro? Am I saying this wrong? 
I think I am. No, Sol de Janeiro. Yeah. <laughs> so I finally got it. The only thing I... These things are expensive. And, and the way I spray body spray, these little bottles go by fast. So I'm going to be real with you. The cream in this one, I'm, it, I'm allergic to it. And I've heard other people say that. Like, they are allergic to whatever is in that cream, the cocoa cream. I have, um, and I gave you guys some minis of it because I had tons of minis of samples that I was getting in uh, boxes. <clears throat> and I was allergic to it. But this one smells just like more like a coconut. Oh yeah. And it's $20, you guys. <clears throat> they're $20 and they're expensive. This one is supposed to be coconut cream, toasted praline, cream de cocoa, and praline grills, grizel, whatever that means. Um, so yeah. Top note is coconut cream. Mid cream or the mid is supposed to be warm vanilla and tropical orchid and then dry smells like creamy sandalwood and toasted praline. It's divine. One of the girls at work, she actually calls me Miss Sol de Janeiro. She be like, Miss Sol de Janeiro. Cause I be putting that stuff on, baby. My I love I think I think it's nice if I was a patient and I was having a miserable day to come have my nurse come in and make me smell, like, smell my nurse. And she'd be like, oh, you smell so good, other than sanitation and bleach products around here. <laughs> I would be happy to smell something else. Um, Let's see what else I have in here. Oh, yeah, I bought you guys some stuff. I forgot. So I bought y'all some stuff to go in y'all giveaway box. So one of those is the... The, the Natasha Denona uh, Mini Love Palette. Um, I already have this one, I think. Yeah, I think I have this one. Which I think has some lovely little colors. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, and talking about giveaway, we are going to be getting into our... Um, giveaway. I haven't forgotten for our 200 subscribers. I want to get on that roll to my 1,000 subscribers this year. I think that is one of my goals for our New Year's resolutions for the year. Um, this was on sale for like $12. So I was like, I got to get y'all one because I have one. So I got y'all one of those. She go, She went to the backs for you. Um, what else did I get? Ooh, so... Y'all know I love Glow Recipe, and this is probably like one of the rum products I don't have from them. And this is their Lip Pop. This is the Blueberry Bounce Lip Pop. <clears throat> it's supposed to be nourishing and smoothing. I'm going to be real with y'all. I've already tried it. And I'm, uh, and I'm, I'm going to be real with you. It's meh. It was a meh. Meh. She really ain't much. She's supposed to be nourishing. It's supposed to have like the little beads in it to kind of like scrub against your lips. And then they kind of like melt down. It's a meh. It's a freaking, it's a lip product. That's that's the best thing I can say. Something I can throw in my purse or something to have on me at work. And that's about it. I won't say it's better than anything. It's just, what it is, me. It's a lip product. It's not a bad lip product. It's just a lip product. And uh, I think I paid full price for that too, unfortunately. So yep, yep. That's what I did. Um, what else did I get? I'm sorry, I'm just peeling stuff off of my lips. Um, <clears throat> what is this? Oh, another sample that I got. This is the Ola Hendrickson Lemonade Smoothing Scrub. I think this had a lot of controversy too, because I think it has 
So it says exfoliates with AHAs and lemon peel extract. I don't know. I remember there was some talk about this, but I don't know what exactly was the talk. So if you remember anything about anybody saying anything about this, let me know. Because I don't remember what everybody was saying about that. But I I know there was some a little bit of controversy or something like that. Something or the other. Um, what other lip products have I got? Oh, I got some Bite. Because, you know, the whole point of me doing my uh, per, uh, prescription. Subscription boxes is that... Um, we'll look at that in a minute. Is that one of the things that they introduced me to was the Bite Beauty. This is their um, Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayons. They were $13, like half off. So I got a couple. Did I get any more besides two? I think that's all I got was two of them. Yeah, all I got was two of them. So I got... um. How do you say that? Oninonin? 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 I don't know. And <clears throat> um, Calvados? Cavaldos? So they're both kind of like browns, kind of like one that's kind of like a brown, one more like a mauve. So I got those two crayons because I think I have. Yeah, all the rest of my crayons are over here. I have three in here that I have. So the one I got from BoxyCharm was this one right here, this bright color one called mm, Aki Smash. And then I have, Jesus, I can't see, Sugar Cane, which is like a very light nude. And then I have another nude one that looks almost very similar to it. And it is Armoretto. Armoretto. Arm okay, let's talk. Armoretto. Jesus. So I have a couple more to add to the gang. Gang, gang. Gang, 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 gang. All right. So, yeah, that's what that one looks like. Um, Very much more nudie this one looks more like a pinky kind of a color let's see this one ooh, and they're so creamy and light that's what i liked about them is that it didn't feel like anything was on my freaking um lips especially that aki smash when i first tried that one it didn't feel like anything so very nice colors. I actually put those together. Could you use this one, the darker one? Um, actually, probably could use the darker one on the outside and the lighter one on the inside of the lips. Will look really pretty. So I have some of those to play with. I just put that away. What else do we have? We got a couple more samples in here that I pulled up. Um, another Ola Hendrickson. This is their 20% acid night treatment. It says overhauls texture and reduces the look of dark spots, pores, and fine lines and wrinkles. Oh, I might have to try <laughs> this tonight. Oh, so it's like a serum. So how do we use this? It says... Wake up on Dutopia. This potent retexturizing serum cocoon skin reveals a significantly smoother, uh, renewed, brighter complexion. The secret is the balance between exfoliating and replenishing ingredients includes 10% AHAs and 10% PHAs plus birch sap, cotton water, and aloe juice. Okay, use directly. It says at night, probably in combination with this. Um, <clears throat> it says at night, apply evenly across the face and neck for external use. Okay. You might need to use a sunscreen because it will make you sensitive um, to sun, to the sun. Okay. 
I'm about to do a little bit more research on this because I think I will try this, put this on and this, finish up my face routine and use this. Yeah. All right. We got something to do with tonight. We got something to play with tonight. All right. Um, another something that I got was this YSL. So my E say Laurent. Um, it's not Laurent. It's Laurent. E say Laurent. Okay. Um, because I always get corrected by my fiance. So this was their. I had the baggie for this. This is their no sleeve. Oh God, no, that's not what it is. Stop. This is their Rouge of uh, Volupte Shine. Okay. It's a lipstick, okay? Um, I'm trying to see what color this was in. It does not say. No, no, don't tell me the color. Okay. I don't know. You guys, that's not fun. Because I'm going to swatch this. We would like to know the color. Okay, I guess we don't have a color. But this is what it looks like. A very soft pink. A very, and almost as, just as nude as these ones. Um, Very creamy. I will say that. Very creamy. So, and she's tiny. Very tiny. Um... What else do we have in here? Just a few more things, you guys. So I did get some beauty or um, blemish tools or acne tools. I do like those. Or extraction tools. However you want to uh, see that. This one is from Sephora. This is the 3-in-1 extractor. So it comes with a needlepoint lancet. <clears throat> excuse me, a small looped head and a large loop head. You may have seen this. I think I got this. No, this was full price. It was like $21 or so. It's funny how I can remember. So four prices, but not ultra prices. So <clears throat> I'm gonna need to get a drink of water. My voice is starting to change a lot. Um... So this is that large loop that we were talking about. The larger loop. And then you have the smaller loop. And then this is a lancet, they said. So it's probably sharp. Oh yeah, so it's like a needle. So you could like pop a pimple or whatever, but it comes with like a little guard, which is nice. Oh, and this just, oh, it screws right on there. Look at that. So then you just unscrew it. So you don't have to worry about losing this other little piece. Nice. I like that. Because I was going to say, how am I going to remember, you know, I might end up losing that extra little piece. But nope. It screws right on there. And it becomes one whole piece. Nice. Okay. Yep. I like her. Um, what other facial feature did I get? So I got the Sephora Facial Razor. Um... So this is the facial razor that removes facial hair, peach fuzz, you know, like microdermabrasion, you know, everybody's been doing all that. So I do do that every once in a while, but I actually wanted a real razor. And this one actually includes three replacement razors. Um, the blade is very sharp. Keep out of reach of children. I hope people know that. Um, and let's open her. Can we open her? Oh, she's taped down. That's why. Because I'm like, I don't see anything, but the tape is so transparent, you can barely see it. OK, 
okay the other side said it's not gonna open but anyways while i'm doing this you guys what are your plans for valentine's day the bae said he gonna surprise me for my birthday so we'll see what happens because my birthday is two days after valentine's day can you guess how old i'm going to be Okay. Oh, this is, oh God. Oh, this is, this is a real razor. This sucker is heavy. <laughs> she is heavy. Okay, so you got three replacement razors up here and you get one in the, the barrel. Um, <clears throat> oh, she is heavy. She is no joke. She is not to be played with, okay. Ooh, ooh, let me stop. <laughs> That's from a song, if you don't know. <laughs> um, Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was gonna be like in a plastic candle or something like that, but um, I actually got two of those. So um, didn't pay attention that it had razor blades in there. I thought it was like one time use ones cause I didn't know it was that. Professional. Okay. Um, what else did we get in here? I got some um, setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray that everybody be talking about. And you know me, I'm not buying it full size, so I try it in a mini because I'm not spending all that money and I might end up not even liking it. So I have that to try. And yes, we have lots of things to try. I think I might do a makeup video today because I have so much stuff to try. So I bought all these Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer Pens um, only because they were like $16. Lots of people did not like them when they first came out. Um, I do know that. I wanted to try it for myself. Um, so I got these in all types of freaking colors, you guys. Um, I've seen a lot of people using these as like full, like full on like foundations. Um, the thing that I noticed because I have played around with one of these is that they do not retract back. It's a pen. You click it and once it's out, it's out. So, um, wanted to try them. I bought four of them for $16 and, uh, yeah. What else can I say about that? So we'll swatch them. So I think lightest to darkest would be maybe dark orchid might be the darkest one. They don't have, they're not numbered, I don't think. No, but let's start. I think rich ginger is the first one. So this is rich ginger which is kind of like almost my color. I'm not sure. So the first one was Rich Ginger. Then we'll go with Dark Orchid. This one seems to be a little bit more on the redder side. Yeah. More on the redder side, but more my kind of color, I guess I could say. What's the next one we're gonna try? We'll go with butterscotch, because I have a feeling that is going to be, see that that's darker than this one, so I wanna go this way. No, we'll go right beside it. All right, so this one is butterscotch. more of a lighter shade. I could use that to brighten underneath the under eye or wherever else. But these are all in within a range that I could probably use all of them for something. So, and I, have I told y'all like buying makeup, especially expensive makeup when it's on uh, clearance? 
like this. Uh, does this pen not work? It's not coming up. Don't do that to me. Because it's not like I can return this. Okay, it finally came up. All right, and this one is cream brulee. Or creme brulee, I should say. Definitely a lot lighter than that one. So more on the neutral side. Um, so yeah, those were the four colors that I got. You guys, very beautiful. I'm very happy that I got those. And they are very creamy too. Like they're very creamy. And I think a lot of people, it says it's best used if you use your finger to blend these out. And I would agree, they're not bad. Not bad looking. Let's see. Yeah, that one right there is, oh yeah. Who was that? That was the Dark Orchid. Yeah, she seems to be, yeah, the Dark Orchid. She seems to be that one. Yeah. And this one is not bad at all either. But the Dark Orchid, oh yeah so what's the last thing that i have okay something that i got for you guys and for me and then i found out it's gonna be in my freaking boxy charm for freaking february like ugh. it's like it's funny how it's like i buy stuff and then they're like Haha, guess what you're gonna get this in boxy charm and i'm like why didn't you give it to me before i decided i wanted to buy it so I got the Mercury Retrograde from Huda Beauty. She was on Clarence for half off. So I said, why not? I've never purchased a full palette from Huda Beauty. I am a fan of her nine palette, um, her nine pan palettes that she has, um, but never have I bought a full size palette. I did get one from Ipsy. I'm trying to find it. Record one. Um, I got this in Ipsy. Um, and I have not even looked at it, you guys. Um, I don't think it's a really, I don't know. Is it a color story that I even like? Let's see. So this is the Roll Gold Remastered. Because I think the first one was a flop. Is what I, what I remember. Um, so yeah, that was the Rose Gold one. Um, I guess that would be nice for Valentine's Day, too. Um... So that was that one. But I always have kind of liked Retrograde. When she came out with Retrograde, it was like the first real palette she put out, big palette that she put out with color. So I was like, I've always eyed it and I've just been like, I'm not spending that freaking much for that big ass freaking palette and I may not even freaking use it. But, um, and now I'm getting another one in freaking, uh, boxy charm that makes me so mad so i'm like okay so i bought this one and i i love the packaging on that because it's 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 purple i mean it's kind of purplish it's kind of on the pink purplish side which is kind of like my vanity area um uh oh no the mirror is broken in this one so, okay, so I guess I'll keep this one because it's the broken one. <laughs> I didn't even look at it. Like, it's it's like broken. Like, uh, that's sad. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just, I'll keep the broken one and give you guys this other one. Hopefully the other one isn't broken. Let me see. Ugh. Because I don't want to send you guys anything that's broken. That's not cute. Okay, the other one is in good condition. So this one, so as you can see, it comes with a full eye mirror, you guys. And then it comes with some very nice neutrals, some warms, and then some um, very nice colors in here. Oh. Ooh, this is pretty. This is very pretty. Mercury Retrograde, you guys. So I paid like $30. I think it's like $31 or so for this palette. Um, 
very pretty very pretty um so yeah i don't know i might just throw that one away we'll see we'll see when we get the other one but yeah so this is Mer mercury retrograde you guys um and those are all the products i've gotten all the new products i have to find up where i'm going to put them in my beauty area but um yeah i think i'm gonna play in some makeup guys and film a video for you because i also have some new stuff that i got from influencer this month so i think that's what i'm gonna do with today so guys uh i love you have a beautiful day hope you like my video um let me know you know some suggestion if you guys want to see some things on the channel that i might possibly can do for you other than that, you guys, I love you, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.